hunting us and it's not going to stop. We have to get to the island. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 horror thriller The Reef Stalked, a film that is written and directed by Andrew Trauke and it stars Teresa Leanne, uh, Anne Truong, Sastia Archer and Kate Lister. Now the film focuses initially on a character called Nick who um, she's got like two sisters. One of her sisters is assaulted and killed by her partner or husband, which obviously devastates her. And then the film then shifts nine months later. She goes on like um, a diving getaway with a group of friends to kind of um, celebrate the life of their of her past sister. Um, and whilst they're whilst out on the open sea, they are then stalked by a great white shark. Uh, and it's up to them to try and band together, use their brains to try and stay alive. Right, what are my thoughts on the reef stalked? Well, I am presuming that this is one of a series of films in the reef um, franchise. I think there's a few shark films out there called The Reef. I might be, I may be wrong. I don't recall actually watching any of them. And if I have, I certainly forgot that I've seen them. Which kind of goes to form with this film, really, because it's ultimately a really quite forgettable shark film. This one, which is a bit of a shame. Quite a tame affair here, and in actual fact, it it actually felt like an Australian soap opera because it, it it's set and based in Australia. Uh, the cast of, for the most part, Australian. Um, and that's not necessarily why I, you know, I feel like it's soap opera-ish, because it, it, it does feel like a lost episode of Home and Away, almost, or Neighbours. Um, it's just not particularly gripping or scary, this one. Pretty tame affair, I have to say. And there's... I thought the setup was decent. However, like I say, I do thought it. I thought it was a bit soap opera-ish, you know, the sister being killed by the partner or the husband, and then they all go off, you know, on this get together. It just, it all felt a bit, I don't know, forced and and as I've said, so soap opera-ish. And then, you know, these girls are supposed to be lifelong friends, and there's a couple of there's the younger sister there as well, um, and the the sometimes they kind of feel like strangers. They felt like to me. Um, and they don't necessarily make a lot of smart decisions either. And it just, I don't know. It's, for me, I always struggle sometimes with these shark films where you're kind of out in the open on the sea um, and you're being, okay, as the title suggests, stalked by a shark. There's a lot of films like this and it's like, okay, well, how interesting can you make this for, I don't know, I think this is about an hour and 20 hour and 25 minutes long something like that and the answer is not very because I, I just didn't necessarily care about any of these women um i didn't necessarily know an awful lot about them other than some of them were sisters so they were they were friends all this kind of stuff and okay i could understand the reason why they're out there doing what they were doing but there's there's one moment kind of where they get to this island safe and then they've got to get from that island to another island because the island they get to, even though there's people on it, there's no way, no way of communication. And the only boat they have is this little boat. I just kind of thinking, how unprepared are these people? <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm sure it's, it's a reasonably common affair to have maybe sharks out there. Um, or, you know, even not even sharks, you know, I don't know, jellyfish stings or any number of, you know, medical emergencies. If you've got people living on an island and there's like the sea there, but you've got no way of communicating with anybody, you know, um, they, they don't seem particularly prepared this lot. So they decide to kind of make this raft out of this boat and like head off to this other island, which goes tits up as well. It's just like, you guys are not particularly smart. And it's one of those films as well, and I suspect maybe it was for budgetary reasons. There's a lot of pointing and shouting shark. Um, left, right and centre, you know, a pointing shark, and then you'll see a fin in the water. And the only real footage you get of sharks looks like stock footage to me as well. It doesn't necessarily 
feel like it's a shark that is, um, you know, part of the budgetary plans for this film or, you know, sewn into the film. It's just, it looks like stock footage for the most part. Um, so it didn't necessarily impress me. And for those of you out there that like to watch a shark film and you like to see lots of blood and, you know, body counts and real threat and danger... I think you're going to be suitably unimpressed with this because uh, the body count's low. You know that I want everyone to get munched. You know what I mean? There were some, there's some kids in danger in this film. You know I didn't necessarily want them to get munched, um, but it just you know it just didn't have me on the edge of my seat. This one, uh, and I know shark films are literally seems like there's one comes out every week these days. Low budget affairs. We know how popular they are. Um, generally speaking there's very few of them in my opinion elevate beyond like a beyond a five out of ten they're all very middle of the road now because how many different ways can you tell the same story but they keep trying obviously but you know this feels like a made for tv movie to me um it, it's not scary it's not particularly thrilling and that, that those are the genres that it's trying to compete in here but it doesn't necessarily do either of them effectively for me so I can't really sing this one's praises. It's not horrifically bad or anything, but it ain't great either. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.